Hey everybody, Matt Ruck here and welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon and Minecraft. Today I am going to be going over the new item, Meteorite, and where you can actually find the components to make it, and also how it's used, and pretty much showing you how to use it, I guess. So, a Meteorite is actually a craftable item. I don't know if it actually drops from Pokemon, I don't think it can be, but you can craft it. There are three components to it, you need three Endstone, two mo Moonstone Shards, and then a one Moonstone. So, if you listened to a few of my earlier videos, hopefully you were grinding those boss towers and you would already have these moonstones saved up. But I'll still go over, you can get all these items from monster or Pokemon drops uh, currently, so let's get into that right away. So the first thing that you're going to want to get is moonstones and moonstone shards. These things are probably, uh, you know, actually all the components that you need to make the meteorite are pretty uncommon. It's kind of a pain, but at the same time, a meteorite is pretty nice to have. So Moonstone, right now the only Pokemon that drop Moonstone are Nido Kings and Nido Queens. I don't know if boss if the Mega Evolutions have a random chance to drop any items because I know I've gotten some some oddball items from them on top of their normal drops. So but for sure, you're gonna want to get Nido Kings and Nido Queens. And these two spawn in savannas, they're pretty low spawn rate. So it's gonna take some grinding to actually get the moonstones if you don't have any already. The Moonstone Shards, now this was the thing that took me the longest to get. So, the one, the two Pokemon that I've been grinding is Nidorina and Nidorino. Now you'll see that Wigglytuff has a higher percentage to actually drop it. However, the Nidorino and Nidorina spawn pretty frequently. I think it's like an 8% chance to spawn in the Savanna biome. So that's why I pretty much have been uh, farming these to get those Moonstone Shards. It's taken a long time. I think it took me two hours yesterday to get the first two Moonstone Shards. And then today, I think I got both of them. I got two more within a half hour. So really, your, your luck is really going to be tested with this type of grinding. Now, the, the third main item that you're going to need is Endstone. Endstone only drops from Unknown. And these it's 100% drop rate from Unknown. So that's kind of nice. And you get, get the opportunity to get one to two of them, each Unknown that you kill. The problem with Unknown is that they're fairly rare and you can find them at nighttime in Mesa Plateaus and Desert Hills so they're they're not exactly the most common Pokemon and on top of that their spawn rate is really low so if you can you know buy some endstone or know somebody that already has some definitely look into probably buying some because it's going to save you a bunch of time so once you get all three of those items or all three types of those items You'll need to put it into this very simple recipe into a crafting cube. So in three of the corners, you put your three endstone pieces. In between each of the endstone cubes or blocks, you actually put your moonstone shards. And then right in the center of the crafting cube, you put your moonstone. And then that should spit out your meteorite. Now what this does is actually allows you to, if you have a Deoxys, to change the form of the Deoxys as many times as you want. So as most of you know, a Deoxys has four forms. You have the regular version, the attack version, speed, and defense uh, versions of it, I guess. And it's really nice because you can actually see, I've already tested this, that when you change the forms, the stats on the Pokemon change significantly. So if you're looking for a specific build for your Deoxys, you're definitely gonna want definitely gonna want to get one of these. I know Deoxys are extremely hard to spawn in because I think our server only has one biome currently that we're aware of that has actually spawned in a couple of Deoxys. However, there have been a couple of giveaways where we've given, where Jay has actually spawned in a few more shiny Deoxys. Thankfully, I have a shiny Deoxys to show you the differences between all the different forms and the stats that you're going to see once you use this item. So first, th <laughs> so first things first when it comes to using the Meteor, you actually first need the Deoxys, shockingly enough. Thankfully, I just happen to have a shiny one. <laughs> Next thing, you gotta put your Meteorite in your hand, and then if you go up to your up to your Deoxys, you just right click on him and he changes form. So as you can see, I still have the de uh, Meteorite, but I can change it to all the- Hey, come back here! There he is. So there you have- I think this is the attack form, this is defense form, speed, and then normal. So why don't we take a look at it? This is the normal form right now. We'll go take a look at the stats. So as you can see, his attack, special attack, and speed are all in the lowish 200s. 
Now we'll go to, this is a straight up attack, I believe. His special attack and a regular attack have gone up about 50 points from the base form. His speed went down a little bit, but as you can see, his attack and special attack are just massive right now. Next one is defense form. And once we take a look at him, you'll see that his special defense and defense skyrocket. His attack and special attack obviously were cut in about half. But his defense and special defense went up, or pretty much doubled, from the attack form. Now the last form is... I... Oh, no! No! So there's his speed form. Take a look at it. His speed now is almost 300 points. So as you can see, all the other stats have gone back to a, a lower... Definitely a lower number. If you're going to be using this form, you're probably going to want to be using the normal... The normal form, which balances attack and speed or the attack form, which just gives you a huge bump in special attack and attack. There you have it, guys. Now you know how to change the form of your Deoxys if you have managed to get one so far. I know it took me forever to actually sit in the Ty Cold Tiger M biome and actually get one. So if you're lucky, you might be able to buy one off of somebody, but do not expect that to come cheap. If you're going to be taking the time to actually go get yourself a meteorite to farm all the bits and pieces for it, I wish you all the luck in the world because it took me hours to actually get it. So. I mean, you're going to need a ton of rock luck for that. And anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!